Multiplication strategies. Multiplication is combining equal groups together to find a total. Let's take a look at a multiplication sentence. 3 times 6 equals 18. There are three parts to a multiplication sentence. Factor, factor, and product. 3 is the amount of groups that we have. We draw three circles to represent the groups. 6 is how many items we have in each group. 18 is our total. 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 18. We have three groups with six items in each group, so 3 times 6 equals 18. We can use four different multiplication strategies to solve multiplication sentences. Equal groups, repeated addition, number lines, and arrays. The first strategy is using equal groups. The first factor tells us how many groups we have. The second factor tells us how many items are in each group. We have three groups with six items in each. The next strategy is repeated addition. To use repeated addition, you add the second factor repeatedly. The first factor tells us how many times we need to add. So we add 6 three times. We get 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 18. The next strategy uses the number line. The first factor tells us how many jumps we're going to make. The second factor tells us the length of each jump. We start from 0 and count by 6. We make three jumps and draw arrows to represent each jump. The product is the number we get to at the end of our last jump. So 3 times 6 equals 18. The last strategy uses an array. An array sorts a group of objects into rows and columns. The first factor tells us how many rows we have. The second factor tells us how many items are in each row. In this example, we have three rows and six columns, or three groups with six items each. So 3 times 6 equals 18. Let's try another example. Let's use equal groups to solve 4 times 5. We have 4 groups with 5 items in each. So 4 times 5 equals 20. Let's use repeated addition. We add 5 4 times. 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 equals 20. So 4 times 5 equals 20. Let's use the number line. We count by 5s and make 4 jumps starting from 0. The last arrow ends at 20. So 4 times 5 equals 20. Let's use an array. We have four rows with five columns in each, or four groups with five items in each. So four times five equals 20. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.